Clinton police officer has been cleared in a fatal shooting. We were able to get our hands on the district attorney's memo coming out of the investigation, showing that while it was a police officer's bullet that killed Isaiah Hill, he would have died anyway because he'd already slit his wrists. The memo shows that police have been called to the home on Madera Street by a woman who said her grandson was suicidal. It points to witnesses who told police that Hill darted at the officer or chased him carrying a large knife. The officer fired two shots at Hill, with Hill reportedly saying he wanted to die while the officer tried to give first aid. Hill did later die at the hospital. An autopsy found Hill had slit his wrists and had lost a substantial amount of blood before the shooting, severing his arteries, wounds that the pathologist believed would have resulted in him bleeding to death. District Attorney Dave Clark writes in his memo that no charges will be filed against the officer. Clark goes on to write that he finds no fault with the officer's performance, describing the situation instead as a trap and blames Hill's death on mental illness.